This is an example of the LC, that is inductor and capacitor simplification game in Circuit Tutor. This will actually serve as an example for all three levels since they are all rather similar. So let's open up the LC simplification game. Normally we would need to complete a pretest um, before playing the game, which is just to assess what you know before you start the exercise. Um, I'm going to skip that for right now. The next step would normally be to view the web-based uh, multiple choice tutorial, um, which you would do by clicking this button. And it's recommended certainly that you do that before you uh, work on the exercises. And that's a fairly brief tutorial. So we'll skip that for right now. And now we have access to examples and exercises at three different levels of difficulty. In this game, you will have examples involving both capacitors and inductors at each level. That's why two games are required at each level, one of uh, each type of element. Um, and then the examples correspond to that. The only difference really in these different levels is the complexity of the circuit that you're asked to simplify. So the process is the same, and therefore I'm going to show just one example at the medium level of difficulty. Now it's always a good idea to look at some examples. So let's just look at one uh, right now, for example. And this shows us a problem involving inductors. And this actually shows us each step involved in simplifying that circuit. So the thing we need to remember about inductors is that they combine in the same way that resistors do in a DC circuit. Namely, when they're in series, the values add. So here we would just add the 2 Henry and the 6 Henry to get 8 Henrys. On the other hand, when they're in parallel, as shown down here in this step, inductors add, again, the same as resistors. So that means in parallel, we would be uh, basically adding the reciprocals of the inductance values and take the reciprocal of the result. And if it's just two elements like this, then we can do that using a uh, product over a sum formula, which is algebraically equivalent to this by putting it over a common denominator. However, if it's more than two in parallel, such as it is here, for example, we have actually five different elements all connected to the same two nodes, this node up here and this node uh, down here, then we cannot use a product over sum formula as that would not be algebraically uh, valid. Instead there we have to take the inverse of the sum of the reciprocals to get the total value. So that's basically um, all you need to know for combining inductors is to add them in series and then combine them reciprocally in parallel. The same thing that you do if you were combining resistors in series in parallel. Now the example of course shows us all the steps down to the case where we've achieved a single equivalent element, which is the goal. I'll show one more example. Um, well, let's skip that one since that's also inductors. Um, let's try an example here. Well, that's inductors also. And let's see if I can get one for capacitors. There's one for capacitors. Okay, so here what we have to remember about combining capacitors, and we're looking for the input equivalent capacitance here, is that capacitors combine, instead of combining like resistors, they combine like conductances do in the DC circuit. And that means if we have two capacitors in parallel, we simply add the two capacitances. It's much like increasing the area of the plates of the capacitor when we put them in parallel. Therefore, that increases the total capacitance. Remember the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is epsilon A over D, where epsilon is the dielectric constant in between the plates, A is the cross-sectional area of the plate, and D, as in dog, is the distance between the two plates. So we're basically just adding the areas when we put them in parallel, and that's why the capacitance values add. Um, on the other hand, if you need to add capacitors in series, as we're doing in this step, um, then we have to remember that as they add like conductances, they had add reciprocally when they're in series the opposite of what resistances do. So in this case, if there's just two in series, we just add the reciprocals of each value and take the reciprocal of the result, which for two elements is the equivalent to the product divided by the sum. But remember again that that does not work if you have more than two such elements, uh, which we don't in this problem, but if you did, you would have to be 
uh, just take the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals of each value. So again, it's a fairly simple process. We just have to remember what's in series and what's in parallel. And remember that the terminals, since we're viewing the input here with a capacitance meter, or in general, maybe an LCR meter that measures inductance, capacitance, and resistance, that we're actually applying, for example, an AC voltage across this terminals and measuring an AC current that flows or that exists that points in here and points out here. And therefore, um, these two elements, for example, are not in series because they are hooked to a terminal. And that terminal is being used to measure an input uh, impedance or capacitance in this case, um, or inductance, it's the same thing. Um, so it's just like the same principle that we use when we combine resistors. In fact, you'll find that this game is very series, uh, very similar rather to the resistor simplification game that you have probably done previously. Um, again, it just it deals with capacitors and inductors, and we have to remember the appropriate rules for those. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a medium level exercise. Uh, we will need a scientific calculator to carry out the, uh, probably at least for the uh, cases where you have to take the reciprocals. And the instructions are shown here, in case you need those. They're very similar again to uh, the resistor simplification game. So here we're being given a problem involving inductors. And um, so we're looking for the input inductance as seen from these terminals. So we now look at what's in series and what's in parallel. And we can see, for example, that these three inductors are all in parallel with each other. So we can just click on those as you would do in a series parallel game. And then we just click the button that says combine parallel elements. Now you may notice there's a little bit missing here around this uh, dialog box. That's just an artifact of my video recorder, unfortunately. That's, uh, you'll see the full dialog box. So we click that. And of course, you won't see the answers here. Um, that's because I'm logged in as an instructor that I get to see the answer. But you would simply compute, uh, in this case, because they're in parallel, we have to add the reciprocals. So we take 1 over 1 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. So that would be 1 plus 0.333 plus 0.25. Add that up with a calculator and then take the reciprocal of that resulting number. And that turns out to be 0.6316 roughly. And it's probably a good idea to enter to at least three and preferably four digits here. OK, so that is correct. And now um, we have to continue the simplification. It's already uh, done the simplification for us here. So now we see that these two elements, this combined thing that represented the three original inductors, is now a single one. So those are in series. So, And there's nothing else in series with those two. So we'll combine series elements. And now we just add the 1 to the 0.632. And of course, that's just 1.632. And so that is correct. And then we have to add now, uh, remember that these two are not in series, but they are in parallel. Remember that they're not in series because there is a terminal here. And this LCR meter that's being used to uh, measure inductance, capacitance, or resistance has a current flowing in, or a current existing here in one wire, which comes back out the other wire. It's an AC current in this case to measure inductance and capacitance. But the principle is the same, is that because current is, exists in this wire, these two are not in series. They are, however, in parallel because they're connected to the same two nodes, which here are color coded. On the advanced level, uh, you won't have that color coding because you're being expected to learn it uh, to do it without the color coding, since that isn't typically present on circuit diagrams. So we'll now select these two and indicate that they're in parallel. And by the way, there are several other features I should mention here. Um, if you're stuck for some reason, you can always get a hint by clicking the Get Hint button. Um, you, of course, won't have the Jeet button. Um, if you need to access the tutorial again while you're doing the exercise, you can always click that, and it'll open it up in your web browser. Um, if you get down to one element, we're going to click Cannot Simplify Further. If you need help on the written instructions, you can click here. And there will also be, uh, when you do this, there will be a Video Help button, which isn't there yet because I haven't uh, I'm just not recording this. Um, and if you get completely stuck, you can always give up. Um, that won't affect your grade. Um, it just means that you'll have to do another exercise in place of the one um, that you are not able to finish. OK, so let's enter the value here. And of course, we would be taking 1 over 6 plus 1 over 1.63, and then taking the reciprocal of that. And so that works out on a calculator to 1.282, essentially. So we'll just put that there. 
and that is correct. And the last step will be now to combine these two in series. So I'll select those both, click Combine Series Elements, and now just adding 1 to 1.28, of course, gives us 2.28. And that is correct. And now that we've got it down to a single element with a value of 2.28 Henry's, we just say we cannot simplify further. And that completes the problem. Now we're being given another problem, which this time involves uh, simplifying capacitance. And again, this is a medium level problem, but these problems are similar no matter what level you're on. So I'm not going to illustrate um, all the different levels. So let's look for what's in series and parallel here. And remember that, for example, these two are not in series because they have a common terminal. And remember that there's still an LCR meter that has an AC current that goes in this wire and returns here, for example. Um, or vice versa. And uh, because of that, these two are not in series, but they are in parallel because they're connected to the same set of nodes. Um, so we have to remember that always, the importance of the terminals. It's usually best to start sort of away from the terminals. But in this case, we could say that these two capacitors are in fact in parallel uh, because they're connected to the same pair of nodes and there's no others in parallel there. So we'll click Combine Parallel Elements. And remember that capacitors combine like conductances do so when they're parallel, we simply add their values. So 4 plus 4 will just give us 8. And that's the correct value. And now it's basically changed one of those to an open circuit and replaced the other one by its combined value, 8. And notice it did the same thing for the inductors. I didn't mention that. But it's basically eliminating all but one of the elements and replacing the value of that one remaining element by the equivalent combination of those elements. Okay, so now these two are also in parallel. Um, and in fact, they're also in parallel, if we notice, with this third one, this 2 farad, because those are all three connected to the same two nodes, which are red here and black here. And none of the others are in parallel. So we can combine those all at once if we want, or we could do it two at a time if you like to use, um, but there's no real reason to do that here. Um, if you were combining uh, inductors in parallel, maybe you would want to do product over the sum rule for each two at a time. might be a little easier. But when we're just adding the capacitances, really, we may as well do that all at once. So now, uh, remember that capacitances add in parallel because we're just basically adding the area of the plates in parallel. So 2 plus 5 plus 4 is going to be uh, 7 plus 4 is 11. And again, it's deleted two of those, changed them to open circuits, and left the remaining equivalent value, uh, which could have been any of the one, but it, it just chose this one to, to leave, um, and change its value to 11 farads. And now we have three capacitors, which we see are all in series, because whatever current exists here has to go through all three of those. So we're going to combine those in series at once. And remember, now we have to use the reciprocal formula, because we're combining capacitors in series and those add reciprocally to give you the reciprocal of the total value. So we would take 1 over 5 plus 1 over 11 plus 1 over 8, add that up on a calculator, and then take the reciprocal of that result. And when we do that, we would get an answer of 2.404. So I'll enter that. And that's being displayed here now. And now we're down to one capacitance, so that's as far as we can go, and so we'll simply uh, say we can't simplify that further. And that finishes this level of the problem. And as I said, the other levels are basically similar. Um, it's just that the problems are a little bit either easier or a little bit less complicated or a little bit more complicated. Um, and so, and then when you're done, then you'll need to take the post test. Um, now, this is an exercise where if you don't need to do all three levels, you could skip directly to the hard level and just do that. If you're able to do the hard level, then you're going to be able to do these easier levels too. So if you want to, you can skip to the hard level. But if you want a little bit more practice, it might be a good idea to go through all three levels. This one doesn't take um, a great deal of time. So that completes the exercise.